Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to this episode of Game Guides, where I'm going to be going over roads in Rome Total War. There are four levels of roads. Level 0, which all provinces at least start with level 0 roads, which is just no roads, essentially. Level 1, which are just called roads, or dirt roads. Every faction can build these, and some provinces start with them at the beginning of the campaign. They cost 400 denarii. Level 2 roads are the first paved roads. Other than the Roman factions, only Carthage, Egypt, Greece, the Seleucids, Thrace, and Numidia can build these roads. And these cost 1,200 denarii. The final level, level 3, are highways. Only the four Roman factions, the Julii, Brutii, Scipii, and SPQR, can build highways. They look similar to paved roads, except they're a lot more effective, which I'll go into later in the video, and they cost 2,400 denarii to build. There are two major benefits that roads provide you in a campaign. Unit movement distance on the campaign map, and land trade income. The first major effect that roads have is on the distance that your troops are able to move on the campaign map. So for each increase in road level that a settlement has, the units in that province are going to be able to move further. So we're going to take a look at this province here using cheats, and here is the base distance that a unit of peasants is able to move from this city with no roads constructed. So now we're going to go ahead and build just the basic roads here, and we're going to use the cheat process CQ in Nepti, Nepte, and now you can see that the road has been built, and the distance for, that this uh, unit's able to move has increased from here to here. So you can see it's increased just slightly, but it did increase. And now we're going to build the next level, paved roads, and use the same cheat, and you can see that now the unit's able to move this far. So just a little bit further, but that's, you know, that adds up when you're moving units over large distances. And then finally here, we're gonna finish it off with highways and we are going to construct that. And now the peasant is able to move this far. So you can see that it's a pretty significant difference that any unit is able to move when you upgrade the roads in a city. Units moving along those roads are able to move a significant distance further for every level, and that adds up when you're moving large distances across the campaign map. Roads also have a large effect on trade income, but it's really important to point out that they only have an effect on land trade income. So they will have no effect on trade that goes overseas, you know, through ports, for example. So if we look at an island province like Salamis here, we can see that clearly it's impossible for this province to trade with another province over land. It's an island. So all of the uh, trade here is via the sea. So if we go to the trade screen, we can see that it's all sea imports and sea exports. There is no land. So if I upgrade the roads for, uh, to paved roads from normal roads, you'll see that there is no change here in trade income expected. That is because roads don't affect sea imports or sea exports, only land imports and exports. If we look here at Sidon, you can see that it is not an island, obviously. So when we go to the trade screen, you'll see that there is land trade, imports and exports. And therefore, when we upgrade the roads, the paved roads, you'll see that the land trade is expected to go up from 618 to 760. So now that we know that only land trade income is affected by roads, the question then becomes how much does land trade income increase for each level of roads? And the answer, it turns out, is actually pretty clear cut. So when you build level one roads, you know, the, the normal roads, the first level of roads that you're able to build, um, land trade income actually does not change at all. It stays as that province's base land trade income. Um, so whatever, again, whatever it was without any roads built yet will still be the land trade income after level one roads are constructed. So if we look here at Alessia and we go into the trade screen, we see that the land trade here um, totals to 109 denarii without any roads constructed yet. And if we build the level one roads here, the, the dirt road, the, the first level of roads, and we construct it, 
you're going to then go ahead and see if we go back into the trade screen that it is still 109 denarii. So there is no difference when you go from no roads to the first level of roads. The biggest percentage jump in land trade income is when you build level 2 roads or paved roads. Paved roads double your land trade income or a 100% increase. Um, again, only the Romans, Carthage, Egypt, Greece, the Seleucids, Thrace, and Numidia can build paved roads. All the other factions are stuck with normal roads and won't be able to increase their trade with roads, unfortunately. Um, so as you can see here in Tarsus, we have just the normal roads built. And if I go take a look here into the uh, trade income screen, you're going to see that we have a lot of land trade. And these four numbers here total to an, a land trade income of uh, 345 denarii. So just that's with the normal roads. That's the this province's base trade income right now. When I build the paved roads here, and I'll use the cheat to, uh, to build them really quick, and then I go back to the uh, trade income scroll for the settlement, you'll see that all these numbers increased pretty significantly. And uh, this totals to 696, which is just over double of the 395 that the land trade was before. So as you can see, it is a 100% increase. The reason I think that this isn't an exactly 100% increase is because the governor of the this, of this city has this refined taste, which gives a 10% bonus on all trade income. So when it's increased, that 10% bonus also increases, and that's what makes it not exactly uh, a 100% increase. It's not exactly double, but it, you, can t you can see it's only off by 6 denarii, so it's pretty much exactly double the trade income when you build paved roads um, on, you know, instead of the existing normal roads. And the final level of roads, and this one, again, is only buildable by the Roman factions, um, are highways. And these increase trade by an additional 50% um, of what the land trade income is with paved roads. So essentially, highways triple the base land trade income of the province. So here in Byzantium, you can see, again, we go into the trade screen, that the land trade income totals here to 184 with paved roads. And then when we build the highways, so it's, we expect it to increase by 50%, by 50 or half of 184, which is 92. And then when we go back now to the trade summary scroll from the settlement, we'll see that 158 and 118 add up to uh, 276 which is exactly a 92 denarii increase from what it was before, or exactly a 50% increase from what it was before. So that covers everything for roads. Comment below what your favorite reasons to use roads are in this game, when you build them versus other buildings. Personally, I like using roads mainly for the added movement distance. It gives my troops on the campaign map. The bonus to trade income is obviously really nice, but when you're really trying to move troops across an empire, having better roads, having really good roads, makes a huge difference. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe below. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all next time.